My real name is Coleridge, so C L E R I D G E. Um, and then my middle name is Bernard, my, la uh, my last name is Stroud. My name has been CJ since I've been probably born. I grew up in Southern California, about an hour inland of LA. Our family consisted of, of course, myself, <laughs> his dad, and then um, his two brothers and sister. And then CJ is the baby of the family. CJ had a great relationship with his father. He was my best friend growing up. Taught me about good, bad, ugly, sad. He was always honest with me. He introduced me to sports. He played basketball and baseball growing up, and I played those two sports as well, including football, of course. They would go to Las Vegas, Florida, all of those circuits, and CJ would play and his dad would be with him. And then in football, he would be at every game. He's always told me that I was special, always told me that I could be great, and it meant the world. I think it's one of the most important things to get your confidence from your father. My dad always told me I was gonna be better than him. He used to always make me write out a check uh, for a million dollars, saying I was gonna be the first, first round draft pick in whatever sport I wanted to play. CJ's dad and myself, we married in 1997. But before I met him, he had a substance abuse problem. Around 2011 is when he revisited that substance abuse problem. We decided to split up. He just stopped showing up, stopped being around the house and stopped taking me to practice. And then I got a phone call one day out of nowhere um, and, he, and he called me he, and told me he was in jail. I remember just the after the end of that phone call, I just, I was angry. I was mad at the world, I was, I was asking why. I was hurt. I felt like he betrayed me, he really didn't care about me no more. You really don't know the kind of person you are until you are tried and tested. When your best friend is basically not there anymore and now you're out there and all your friends' dads are there, but yours is not anymore, that really tested CJ. My dad loves sports, so I was like, I'm gonna go against that. I'm gonna do what he used to do and try to find my way in another way. Southern California, you have different avenues and different things pulling you left and right. I was just a kid at the time, really didn't know what I was getting myself into. I wasn't maybe always doing the right things and I had a couple of life and death situations that woke me up from what I was doing. When you have a calling on your life, you can try to go any way you want, but you're always gonna go back to your original calling. That's what happened with CJ, and sports has always been an outlet for him. My first practice at Snoop Dogg's All-Star Team, just having that youth football kind of like brotherhood with some of the, I call my best friends to this day, show me a different way to live. I can really take something positive and turn it into something great, which was for me sports. My recruiting was definitely tough. Kids around Southern California were getting offers in the eighth grade, and, and I thought I should be one of them, but I wasn't. And I went to, of course, Rancho Cucamonga High School. My junior year, had a good season, got some college offers. First offer was from Colorado. Just kept going, kept fighting, kept crawling, kept scratching to be better and better. I was scratching and crawling to get to the Elite 11, uh, and I felt like they didn't want me. This was something CJ had watched on TV since he was little the high school quarterbacks competition. There's the greats that have gone through that program, and most of them either went pro or competed at a high-level college. And it's hundreds of quarterbacks, and they narrowed that down to 21, and then they narrowed down to 11, and they narrowed down to the MVP, the winner of the competition. I went to the regional camp at LA. Felt like I did really good, but they offered Bryce an invitation. Of course, now he's at Bama. Each of those camps, they picked other quarterbacks and not CJ. Went back to the drawing board, worked harder. Then I went up to Oakland, got denied again. And I just kept putting hunger into me. And I just kept fighting, kept strong, kept emailing, kept doing whatever I could, kept showing up. Felt like I did really good. And I remember the day of, it was the last day they were sending invitations. I think I was the last phone call and they invited me to the Elite 11 to Dallas. I was like, it's over with. <laughs> I was like, it's done. They gave me, they done messed up now. They didn't gave me the opportunity. 
he's out throwing kids that are ranked so high they're four or five stars and here's this kid that's three stars they put them in seven on seven teams which was where he came in contact with Ohio State players I was on the team with G Scott Jr. Uh, Julian Fleming he was throwing you dots everything on the money leading the team like this is just a seven on seven this is just a camp and he everything is just shining through and it's like wow like who is this guy? Like, I've never, I don't know, I, who is this dude? As I started kind of getting a groove going, and started winning some seven on seven games, they started to compete at a high level, and I could probably really do this. They named him the MVP of the Elite 11. I didn't know I was gonna win. I'm not saying I was gonna win the MVP right off rip. I just knew that I was gonna show him some. Our team ended up winning the championship in that seven on seven, and on the way home, we're on the bus going to the airport, and I'm like, so like, what are you thinking about, bro? And he's like, I don't really have that like many big, huge offers right now. He's like, I, I might stay in Cali. I'm not sure. I'm like, you got to come to Ohio State with me. Like, you, you got to come to Ohio State with me. They call uh, Coach Day, whoever they call, Heartline, whatever the case may be. I'm like, you got to offer this kid. You got to offer this kid. You got to offer that kid. And I was sitting there like listening, like, damn, it's crazy. They talking to Ohio State about me. We didn't know a ton about CJ. And then it started to pick up, and we started to learn more about him and understand, you know, he's a Rancho Cucamonga and, and the background and everything like that. And, and you saw somebody who had an edge to him. Coming in Ohio State, Justin was here. It was good for me to learn from him. I just had to be a leaning hand to be a leaning brother to him and try to follow him. That taught me a lot as well. But yeah, just kept scratching the crawl just to be a better quarterback each and every day. Big question here with so many pieces back is what's missing, and that is Justin Fields. You got three freshmen vying for that starting quarterback spot. They didn't recruit me early on. They didn't want me at first. They wanted somebody else. Looked at it like a challenge. It was like, man, it's like another Elite 11 situation where they deny me, they deny me, but now I'm going to go show them what's up. Here's a pass into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. Great start for C.J. Stroud. C.J. came in right off the bat and got after it. Competed. He was just so accurate. He knew all the plays. He was prepared. So they named him the starter. All of college football is waiting to see C.J. Stroud. Can he fill the enormous shoes left behind by Justin Field? Stroud pulls it out over the middle. Intercepted! It was tough. First half, I didn't play my best. And I looked at my phone. People telling me I can't wait to... You uh, transfer to Arkansas State. I can't. I can, you should kill yourself. All type of crazy stuff. And I'm like, you know what? Watch this. Stroud delivers down the field. Cut. Wilson touchdown. Bucks. And that's a beautiful throw from C.J. Stroud. That was kind of like my 2021 season journey. Taking the good with the bad, and just really looking myself in the mirror. You're fine, C.J. You can do this. And I feel like we end up having a good season. C.J. Stroud fifth. Touchdown of the half for Ohio State. Impressive. A lot of the stuff that I'm doing now is credit to my dad. As time got on, I started healing. Time heals, so I started forgiving, forgiving more. So now, me and my dad's relationship is a lot better. I talk to him probably at least once a week, just try to fill him in on what's going on, and he gives me advice. And he tells me that I'm motivating him now to this day to try to make his life better. He tells me in there that they watch me on TV. One dude didn't think that. <laughs> One dude in the prison didn't think that he was really my dad. He was like, man, that ain't your son, dude. He was like, nah, that's my son. And so I called one day and I talked to the dude like, yeah, that's my pops, bro. Like, and they watched me on TV. Touchdown pass number six for CJ Stroud. We seen a Heisman performance or what? Last year went really well. He played so amazing. But then we did face the team up north. Finally now is time to play the game because the Michigan-Ohio State rivalry is a 365-day-a-year thing. I knew that it was either us or them going to the Big Ten Championship that the game had a lot riding on it. Aiden Hutchinson drops down at the 39-yard line. Unfortunately, we didn't win. It wasn't because of lack of effort from CJ, that's for sure. But CJ said to me, like, we should have won. Like, he takes all of the blame on himself. For Ohio State, 
bitter disappointment. Their streak of Big Ten championships will come to an end. It was just tough licking your wounds and understanding, like, okay, we lost this game, and it's got to be another 365 until we got to play these dudes again. And I definitely think when that game comes, that that'll be our motivation. Put Ohio State back on top. If that's good, ugly, sad, if it looks bad, it doesn't really matter. We just want to win. Some of the goals I've been kind of speaking in fruition is, of course, beating the team of North, winning the Big Ten Championship, winning the Heisman, the National Championship. Hopefully after that, everything will take care of itself.